Hi, my people. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's second reading of the day. We have a reading on Winter Donovan and Shanquilla Robinson. Thank you all for being here. If you're new to my channel, I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. And I am one of the best, one of the top psychics, astrologers, tarot readers, you know, and beyond on YouTube, so, or on the internet, period. So thank you all for being here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you would like your own personal reading from me. I am available. You can visit my website by checking out my website uh, or texting me at 703-791-9162. I am available for personal readings. You can also email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. Or you can go ahead and visit my website. That's the best place to reach me if you would like a reading. Um, so this is my website. Once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. So I would definitely check me out here. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook where I post regularly as well. I got some new heels a couple days ago, as you can see. Um, also, you can check out the store section of my website. That's where you can go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, and different types of things I do offer. I do offer email readings. I also do offer phone readings. I also do offer video recorded readings where you send your questions and, I, and then I email you the video link of me doing your reading. You get to keep download and keep that video forever. And I email that typically within one to three days after you send your question or your, your questions and information for your reading after your payment. I also do offer uh, candles. I also offer birth chart readings, both individual birth chart readings and compatibility birth chart readings. I also offer past life readings if you want to learn about your past lives. I also offer medium mediumship readings as well if you want to connect to the spiritual realm. And there's a price point for everyone. I also offer 15-minute readings, a spiritual development classes, tarot classes, astrology classes, and so much more and so forth. So happy holidays, everyone, and thank you all so much. Happy, happy, happy holidays, happy, happy, happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate, happy, 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 all right? Um, not so happy because we still don't have answers with the situation with Shanquella. Um, and I'm a little bit not concerned but i'm a little bit like questioning what's going on with this case you know uh the fbi the police are being quiet about what they know and things of this nature so i'm really interested to see what comes out on this reading uh with uh winter De winter donovan and chinquilla robinson by the way i did have a predicted it um i did predict um something with steven dj twitch boss and ellen degeneres i said that ellen was going to come out and post some video or talk about something related to Steven DJ Twitch to kind of spin it in her favor because she's often seen as like mean and not so nice. But I mentioned, I think I did a reading on Steven and Ellen's relationship. So check that out. I did that a couple of days ago. And I mentioned, I think somewhere in that reading that like Ellen was going to come out and use that to her benefit because she's often seen as like a mean person. But because of her relationship with Twitch, she could use it as a way to kind of make her seem less mean. But anyways, she just po there was just a post someone sent me on Instagram on a uh, shade room, and she just posted um, a video on Instagram, I guess, talking about Twitch and happy holidays and how it's a sad occasion, but Twitch would want us to be happy and blah 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 blah. It was nice to see her happy a little bit sentimental, but I did predict it, so I do question its authenticity. You know, in terms of her. Her, you know, her reaction and things of that nature, um, you know, because of what I predicted. So, anyways, that was a predicted it. Thank you to whoever sent me that predicted it. Um, and, yes, hopefully we'll have a predicted it with this reading. Um, in this reading, I want to focus on Winter Donovan and Shanquella Robinson. Now, if you're not up to date on the Ch Shanquella Robinson case, let me give you a brief summary. Um, Shanquella Robinson, who is the female here um, with the all-black hair, was found dead in a Mexico um, hotel room. She seemed to suffer some interesting injuries, but her friends, including allegedly Winter Robinson, left her there and said she actually passed away from intoxication or something like that. So something ab about this story doesn't make sense. This happened last month and now. It's been a while since this has happened. There's a video actually of Shanquella, once again, this female here, getting beat, beat up. 
um, by, I'm not sure if Winter is beating her up or if it's another female, but Winter is allegedly a part of this situation. So I want to focus on the, their relationship. Now, a couple weeks ago, we did do a reading on Dejanay, Dejanay, uh, whatever her last name is, Dejanay Jackson and Shanquella. So I want to focus now on Winter Donovan and Shanquella. I know there's a couple other ones. I think there's a friend named Khalil. So as time goes on and as hopefully more information comes out, of course, we'll go with Spirit. But Spirit really put it on my heart and mind, especially since my personal reading list is short now. I don't have that many personal readings because I finished all of them this morning. So I have time. I have time today. All right. I have time today to get back to the Shanquella case. And here we are. Let's get into it. Let's see what is the relationship between Winter and Chinquella. Let's show you the cards. And we're black. I really do hope you all are having a good holiday so far. Um, I know sometimes this season, people have different reactions to the season. You know, I don't like, one thing I don't like about winter season is how, at least here in Virginia, the nights get shorter, the days get longer. I don't mind the days getting longer, but I don't like that the it gets dark so 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 early. Um, it starts getting dark around like I don't know four thirty five p.m. here. So luckily I'm an early bird, but if you don't wake up, you know, early enough, it's like you only get a few hours of sunlight. That's even if the sun's out, because lately it's been raining here. So I, you know I get it. It's you know people do suffer from seasonal depression, especially when we have situations like this with Shanquella and Winter, you know, in this disgusting situation, you know, so it's just a lot going on. So I really do wish everyone love and light, you know, I'm impartial to this season because this is my birthday season. I'm born December 27th, so I'm a December baby, a Christmas baby. And so it's like, there's so much going on, but sometimes I'll be driving around and I'll see people like, you know, at, you know, dress up their house. And it's like, it's nice to see people still in the Christmas spirit, you know, it's like, it's nice to know Christmas isn't dead. The holiday spirit isn't dead. Um, although, in this situation, you know, um, that, you know, that can't be applied here. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of the stuck when you pass reading. Amen, amen, amen. So, I really hope everyone's having a good holiday. You know, um, yeah. All right, you guys. Let's see. What is the relationship spirit? What can you tell us about the relationship between Shanquilla Robinson and Winter Donovan? What can you tell us about this relationship between Shanquilla Robinson and Winter Donovan? Give us some clarity and insight about these two. These two's connection, these two's relationship. Get the four of swords immediately. So this tells me that these two ran in similar social groups, similar social circles. I question how close these two actually were. I think it's more so, but with these two, it was more so we, we knew the same people kind of thing. All right. With the four of swords coming out, four is the number of friends, acquaintances, social groups, social networking, internet technology. So they may, you know, they may even just be, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, we're Facebook friends, oh, we're Instagram friends, or oh, we met through Facebook or Instagram, you know, kind of thing. It could be even one of those things. But definitely with this card coming out immediately, this could denote that, you know, not necessarily super close, but ran in the same social group, social network, obviously, as we can see. Eight of Cups shows up connected to money, finances, and personal belongings. Eight does deal with the past. It also does deal with career, professional destiny, status, and society. You know, I wonder if these two broke bread together before. I wonder if this was not their first trip. And I feel like I've mentioned this before in one of the readings I did, I've done on Chinquella in her case. I'm wondering, like... If and maybe it was her and Dejanay, I'm wondering if her and Winter also broke bread, or if her and Winter broke bread. Period. Because they deals with the past. Once again, this shows up in a placement of how one spends their money, but also how one makes their money. So there could be something connected to the past with these two financially. I will say it can deal with debt, karma. Um, 
like I said, professional destiny status in society, the father of the father's side of the family. Five of Cups shows up connected to um, thoughts, communication, and the mind. Also shows, we might have to actually, hold on, we might have to make the pictures a bit shorter so we have more room to work with. There we go. All right. So all the fa all the cards can fit, you know, in one on in one spread. So we don't have any issues with that. But um, yeah, with the five of cups coming up and the placement of communication, intellect, the mind, it um, you know, I feel like these two have. I don't know why I feel like there's potential these two have had issues before. I feel like there's a potential that the uh, Shanquella and and Winter have had issues before. Maybe they've had words exchange. <clears throat> All right. Um, Five of Cups is a card of crying over spilled milk, but not realizing you still have two cups behind you still standing. To me, this could mean like jealousy as well get the chariot this could be the actual um vacation they took together this could be the actual like traveling reloc or traveling you know traveling to mexico the chariot does speak of travel movement movement forward it also does deal with family though so i'm wondering if shanquella and uh winter had a family connection i'm i'm wondering maybe if there's like an energy of like family friends or something like that um, did they, like, did, I don't know, did their dads know each other? Did their moms know each other? Like, is there a connection there? Because I get a connection to, like, family, possibly. All right. It's like six degrees of separation, but you're not close. It's like, you know, we run in the same social groups and, you know, our families know each other, but we're not really that close. Like, I know about you, I know about her, but I don't know, like, I'm not, like, we're not super close. Like, that's the vibe I get with these two in terms of their relationship and connection with each other. Get the two of wands connected to creativity, romance, self-expression. One's connection to their purpose and higher self. Two of wands is one foot in, one foot out of a situation. Two of Wands shows up in a placement of ego and confidence. Two is a number specifically in numerology associated with emotions, family, the home. What one needs to feel emotionally secure and safe in the world. I think there was jealousy between these two. I think it's more so Winter Donovan and her jealousy towards Shanquella. These two, I think, maybe also had some personal beef, though. It's interesting, I get the Ten of Cups, connect, like, Ten of Cups is a family card connected to work, job, daily routine. I'm wondering if these two's family knew each other. You know how, like, you have a family friend, and then the family friend has, like, a daughter, and it's like, oh, you should, like, you know, your daughter should meet my daughter, your son should meet my son, kind of thing. And it's like, uh, you know, I know we have, like, family, and our families like each other, but I don't really get along with this person kind of thing. I don't really vibe with this person. I don't really like this person. Even though our families like each other kind of thing. Like, that's like what I get with these two. Y'all, I get the devil card and the placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships and business partnerships. These two had beef. Shanquella and Winter, I'll, I'll say allegedly, for YouTube entertainment purposes only. Wink, wink, wink. Oh my god, I just realized I don't have on my jewelry, child. Let me put on my jewelry, honey. What am I thinking over here, honey? Look at my jewelry. Both of these bracelets I made myself, by the way. Um, they hold up pretty well. I've made these, like, what, two or three years ago? If you you, if you know, you know. All right. Um, yeah, I get the devil card in the placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships and business partnerships. The devil card speaks of a toxic relationship. The devil card speaks of codependency, using and abusing. I'm wondering if Winter then, therefore, with the Devil card coming up, did Winter deal a fatal blow? Did Winter 
do something or participate in something that ultimately led to Shankwella's downfall, passing, whatever we want to call it, allegedly. I get the Ten of Pentacles, though, and the placement of death, evolution, and change. I'm wondering if, once again, money is associated with this. I'm wondering if there was a past money money situation and it's like whatever happened to Shanquella, it's like you know well she owed me money anyway kind of thing so this is my way of getting my money back kind of thing like you know winter towards Shanquella. these two had past beef and i'm gonna stick to it it definitely could involve money with these two it definitely could involve a debt or money owed all right or something with the past there's something about the way I look at Shanquella's eyes when I specifically talk about Winter Donovan. I don't know if maybe we need to do a conversation with Shanquella specifically, a channeling with her coming up. I don't know, but like the way I'm looking in her eyes, it's like there's some, uh, I don't know. I'm getting a vibe, you guys. I have to be honest. I get the, um, the moon card connected to optimism, stepping outside one's comfort zones. Travel. The moon card can deal with secrecy. The moon card can deal with um, secrets not wanting to face the truth. Hmm. The high priestess shows up connected to the past, fatherhood, energy, career, professional destiny, status, and society. I will say the high priestess can be a pregnancy card. Did these two like the same guy, maybe? Were these two into the same guy at one point? These two had some sort of beef. I mean, the devil card coming up and the placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships. Something wasn't right about these two relationships. All right, I get the strength card here. Connected to friendship, one-on-one -on -one relations. They were kind of frenemies, these two. I get frenemy energy. You know, it kind of reminds me... I don't know if you guys ever watched... Clueless, the TV show, but it reminds me of um, Cher Horowitz and Dion Davenport's relationship with Amber, Amber Marion, the redhead in Clueless, and how Amber was like a frenemy of of Amber or of of Dion and um, and Amber was a frenemy of Dion and uh, Cher. But Amber had a little bit of crazy in her. Amber actually had a, a lot of criminal activity in her. Go back and watch the Clueless TV show. If you guys have never watched the Clueless TV show, Amber was committing a whole bunch of criminal activities up up in that show, honey. All right. But I wonder, looking back at it now, because I've been watching episodes. Because first of all, it's good fashion inspiration. You know, but also it's just a good show, you know, movie. It's very 90s. So, um, it's very nostalgic. But, um, one thing with Amber is that I, I always got the vibe that she wanted to fit in with Cher and Dion. But she went about it the wrong way. She was too abrasive. And I feel like D w Winter Donovan can be an Amber. Ironically, Amber, the actress who actually played Amber, and you can look this up, the actress who played Amber in Clueless, her name is Elisa Donovan. I know because I used to follow her on Instagram. I still check her Instagram every now and then. Um, and we, we interacted kind of on her Instagram. Her, her last name is Elisa Donovan. Great actress. Not saying she would do something or Amber would do something this crazy, but, you know, I don't know why I'm immediately getting that vibe. Like, Winter's an Amber. Winter Donovan is an, is an Amber and Shanquella is Cher Horowitz. All right? I, I'm just disgusted. I, every time I tap into the energy of this reading, I just get so disgusted and I just... Uh, I took a spiritual bath earlier, so I'm just upset because I feel like I have to take another one now. I just wish this case would be solved, you know, like, ugh. Anyway. Alright, let me, let me just tap in and see what other questions I could ask Spirit. Alright, let's see. What's, what's gonna happen moving forward with Winter Donovan and her con connection to Shanquella Robinson's case and situation? 
King of Wands uh, flops out, so the King of Wands, or the, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles flops out, so the King of Pentacles could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus male, could be a male connected to money. We know that there were a few males associated with this relationship or this situation, particularly, um, I think one of them is Khalil or something like that, right? is the future for Winter Donovan in context to Shanquella Robinson in Shanquella's case? What can you tell us, Spirit? Please give us some clarity and insight in the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Swords. You know, I think Winter is trying to figure out, does she save herself, or does she protect the others does she save herself or does she rat the others out right two is a number once again the numerology associated with emotions family the home what one needs to feel emotionally secure and safe in the world Right now, she's questioning her, her safety in regards to the situation uh, uh, Winter Donovan is. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Are the cards stuck? Because there's definitely two cards. Let's see. Why is it one card? I think this might be one card. Is it one card? Hold on, let me see. God, I can't tell if this is one. This is two cards. Okay, I thought I was crazy. I was like, wait, okay. The All right, the second card is the Seven of Cups. These two had a connection to money. I'm going to stick to it. Seven is the number of secrecy, life behind closed doors. I'm wondering if Shanquella owed winter money or something like that. Or if they had a past issue with money. Because I feel like, and I'm going to say allegedly, because this is a big, this is big, this is kind of big what I'm going to say, all right, in terms of a case, all right, I think allegedly, Winter allegedly had a motive in doing to Shanquella what happened to Shanquella. The motive may involve finances or money. Allegedly, once again. There's a motive here I'm seeing. Alright? I almost want to say a clear motive. The star card shows up in the placement of thoughts, communication, in the mind. She could, Winter could be being advised at this time in terms of what to do, what to say moving forward to protect herself. So that could be a family, a lawyer, you know, something along those lines. She is being advised, but uh, the star card faces the chariot connected to family, home, emotions, and motherhood energy. I'm wondering, does Winter have children? Because if she has children, she's definitely being protected. Because the, the, uh, it's almost like motherhood would give her um, a safety gear or something like that to a degree. All right. Um... If not, it's her family that's protecting her. It's her family that, um, or it could be her mother specifically. Look at these Egyptian sphinxes, which could often be seen as guards. Imagine the, this person here as the chariot, oh, like opening, it's, imagine like the police knocking on your door and you, you know, someone opening the door, you know, and you know, the police questioning you and it's like, 
you know, the police is like, do you know where so-and-so is? Do you know where Winter Donovan is? And you're like, no, I have no idea where, where they are. You know, I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, Winter's probably, you know, somewhere in the house um, hiding. Allegedly, once again. Protection. Protection also speaks of travel, so she may not be in the location you expect her or we expect her to be. Winter Donovan, she could be in another location. All right. But I definitely get a connection to family and Winter Donovan. I'll say allegedly for YouTube entertainment purposes only, but y'all know I'm accurate. Y'all know what it is. All right. If you know, you know. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to, you know. If you know, you know, child. Sorry, getting my coffee. Eight of Cups shows up again. Connected to um, purpose, self-expression, creativity, ego. These two had past beef. These two had past beef that Winter had not gotten over. I'm wondering what Winter Zodiac sign is. Because her and Shanquilla may have had a lot more in common than... You know how you have a lot in common with someone and that causes you to butt heads? It could, Or you have something in common that causes you to, to butt heads with someone. Whether beknownst to you or otherwise unbeknownst to you. Like these two had past beef. But I will say Winter had not gotten over. Five of Cups shows up again. Connected to work, job, daily routine. Winter had a motive due to some past beef that I feel like had not been settled. Or it like had been settled, but you know how it's like you settle the beef, but you still don't get over it. It takes you a while still to get over it. Four of Swords shows up again. Winter may have also been hyped by the people around her too to participate in this situation with Shanquella. Six of Wands shows up connected to death, evolution, change. I'm going to say, allegedly, it's possible that Winter had some sort of important role in what happened to Shanquella. And I'll leave it at that and I'll let you read between the lines. It's possible, alright? It's, it's, it's definitely possible. I get the Queen of Cups. This would be a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio Sagittarius female facing the Fool card, which shows up connected to karma, the past, career, professional destiny, status, and society. You know, Winter doesn't know how she's going to get it or how karma's going to get her, but karma will get her. And she knows it. She knows she can't escape. Even if in her mind she thinks she can escape and evade capture in terms of going to jail or the U.S. or the, the Mexican government getting her. She knows she's going to get it in the back end somehow. So it's like, okay, I haven't been arrested yet, but, you know, I know I'm going to get something. So I don't know if someone's going to jump me. I don't know if I'm going to get, you know, bad luck or she knows something is coming. She knows she's going to walk into something. But I get the Empress showing up to show uh, one-on-one -on -one relationships, business partnerships, friends, acquaintances. Get the Ace of Cups. And immediately when I pulled the Ace of Cups, I heard plea deal, plea deal. Hmm. Plea deal. What does that mean, Spirit? You know what this could mean with the Ace of Cups? She could get pulled in under the guise of one thing, but then it could turn into something else. So it could be maybe she's pulled in under the guise of, we just want to talk to you. You know, we 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 just, you know, um, we, we've noticed a few things. You're not in trouble. Don't worry, you know, but we just want to clarify a few things. So we, we want to ask you about A, B, and C. So could you come to us and talk to us about A, B, and C? Meanwhile, they've got D, uh, E, F, G, all right? Uh, <laughs> you know, unbeknownst to Winter, uh, on Doc as well to ask ask about so I don't know interesting you know she's definitely being protected I feel like I get female energy around her too so it could be a mother figure alright let's get a final spread
What final message can Shanquilla or can Spirit give us about Shanquilla Robinson and Winter Donovan's relationship and what will be the outcome of Winter Donovan? Um Winter Donovan's connection to Shanquilla Robinson's uh case. Eight of Wands shows up. Eight once again deals with the past. Wands deals with action forward movement ironically. So She definitely can't stay in one space for too long, particularly if she's in the U.S. I also see something about her hair. I don't know if she's done something to her hair now or she could definitely do something to her, different to her hair moving forward. I don't know why I see like a shortcut or like something, a, an illusion of a short shortcut, something like that. What final message do you have for a spirit about Winter Donovan and her... Participation allegedly once again the Shanquella Robinson case. Knight of Pentacles shows up as a first card. This could be a Knight is typically someone between the ages of early twenties to around you know early mid forties. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or Aries. I get the seven of wands connected to money, finances, and personal belonging. These two had issues around money. Period. I'm going to stick to that. Money. Another money card shows up. Seven of pentacles. The devil card shows up connected to emotions, family, and the home. These two had past beef. That they either had not settled. Oh, who is this calling me, child? I don't know who that was. But yeah, with the devil card coming up, they they these two had past beef with one another. Ironically, the devil card shows up connected to family, home, and emotions and motherhood energy. Could there have been something about pregnancy with these two? Justice card shows up connected to self-expression, creativity, romance. Justice card speaks of balance. Justice card speaks of bringing truth to light, laws, legalities, things of this nature. She will be called in for questioning, Winter Donovan, when the time is right. Don't worry about that. There could be something about July, August that could be prominent. Or five to, I'll say, 11 weeks, five to 11 months, maybe. Maybe five to 11 days. I get the nine of wands, but on the placement of one-on-one -on -one relationships, business partnerships, her health is suffering. Her money, her money and her health is suffering, Winter Donovan. Her daily routine is also suffering. She can't, it's, it, Winter Donovan, it's not like she can move around freely. All right, I get the Hierophant connected to one-on-one -on -one relationships. This could be a male in some way, shape, or form. Then I get the Queen of Cups connected to death, evolution, change. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio female. Knight of Cups, quite a few people showing up here. Knight of Wands. Four of Wands. The last card I get is the Two of Pentacles. One thing I'll say about Winter is Winter will stay in position, you know, as long as forever if she needs to. All right. Um, Winter is definitely someone that goes by, I want to say, possibly like the codes of the street. All right. Um, And I'm going to say that Winter may have had a motivation of money in regards to this situation with Shanquilla. All right. I hear interrogation or interrogation video, so I don't know. Eventually, once again, Winter could be pulled in for interrogation. I hear the month of April, April, March, April, something along those lines. Maybe March or April could be prominent months. Let's pull a final card for this situation. final message does spirit have for Shanquella and Mr. Donovan in their situation
Is that my package? That might be my package. Let me check. Yep, that was my package. So thank you, FedEx or UPS or whatever it is, shop. Merry Christmas, honey. And happy holidays. All right. Okay, you guys. Let's see. All right. It says, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Mmm. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Winter, are you having some internal regret, guilt, some internal confliction in regards to what happened to Shanquella and your participation? Remember I was saying these two had some beef as well? Beef is in internal. Beef can also be eternal, right? But in order to have beef with someone, it has to, to reach the, the inner, inner depths of self. Winter, did you really let a beef blind you to, to, to the point of allowing this type of situation to happen? Wondering if you have some Scorpio on your chart or something, girl, because this is pretty extreme, you know. All right, we'll leave it there. And may you go continue to go through some internal reflection on the choices you made, honey. All right, and happy holidays. All right, and happy holidays to Shinquala's family and her loved ones, most importantly, because they have to celebrate a holiday without their daughter, their sister, their cousin. Uh, their friend or whatever it is all right all right well i'll end it here before i continue on and maybe say some not so nice things it is the holidays so let's keep it cute thank you all so much if you want a personal reading do not hesitate to reach out to me for a personal reading get a reading you know for the holidays if you don't have anyone to hang out with or talk to, I'm here for a reading. All right, so do not hesitate to reach out on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or today. Once again, my books are clear too. So if you want a reading, uh, especially if you want a phone reading, a past life reading, or a mediumship reading, you most likely will get your reading today, all right, or the same day. So don't hesitate to reach out. I'm available for personal readings. All right, and definitely keep in touch. Love and light, God bless. And we'll, of course, keep up to date and keep... Um, watch of this situation with Shanquella Robinson in her case. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my second channel on YouTube at Lamar Townsend Official, where I do horoscopes as well. Love and light. I'll see you in your next. I'll see you in the next video, or I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light. God bless. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today I don't care what the others say Let's channel some energy today Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong This tarot card reading about to be long Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. 
When the trolls be gone, can the work be strong? That's me, that's me. Oh, oh, oh.